So I had been casually enjoying my evening, slowly working on a few projects that I've got on my list and, you know, occasionally laughing at Ethan and his silly little petition to try and get a citizen's grand jury together to go after Adam Aaron and his recent updates in the Willis lawsuit. Don't worry, I'll have that together once the time is ripe for that one. But just as I figured I was going to call the night, I got a notification on Twitter about the Binko Ventures lawsuit that I hadn't really covered, though I had thought about it at first, and I'm about to tell you why. Binko Ventures has had quite the history for one of these meme stocks. I don't have the time to go fully into the entire stock and its history, but suffice to say, it's been spicy. Back last summer, some members of the Vinko Ventures community got together a crowdfunded campaign to get legal representation to commit to certain lawsuits surrounding the company. One that's filed in Nevada against management and one that we're about to talk about now that is filed derivatively on behalf of Vinko Ventures against its creditors that Mark Bazile was hired for. I hadn't been covering this case because Mark's allegations in the Vinko Ventures lawsuit is the same allegations that he made in the Mullen lawsuit. Yes, the same frivolous, oh, they're unregistered broker dealers, therefore their entire transaction in this loan agreement is illegal under securities law. And I really didn't feel like going over that a second time. If you're really interested in why Mark Bazile's arguments in this case are bullshit, just go back and watch that Mullen video that I did on this issue and you'll be up to speed on the Vinko Ventures case. Now you might be wondering why then, if I don't think that this case is worth the time of day, why is it that I'm going over it now? Well, you see, on March the 5th, plaintiffs withdrew Mark Bazile as their legal counsel, citing unreconcilable breakdown in the attorney-client relationship. Turns out Mark Bazile got fired for being a shitty lawyer. And that's not just my opinion, that's the plaintiff's opinion. While we don't get to see the letters that were submitted to the court regarding the withdrawal as they are under seal for attorney-client privilege reasons, we do know based on the order from the judge in this case that the accusations were somewhere along the lines of allegations of malpractice against Mark Bazile. Like I said, got fired for being a shitty lawyer. For those keeping score on the Mullen sideline about Mark Bazile's case that he's running for Mullen, I'd start taking notes right about now. Because if you think Mark Bazile is going to save you from the creditors after this happened, I wouldn't hold my breath on it. As for my opinion as to the Vinko Ventures lawsuits, I think it would be much better if the Vinko Ventures community simply dropped this lawsuit in the Southern District of New York. In my personal opinion, the case is baseless and it won't go anywhere, especially without the lead huckster Mark Bazile running it. And I seriously doubt that they're going to find a lawyer that will be willing to replace him. Unless they want to go out and find another ambulance chaser who will be just as sleazy and present the same problems as Mark. Instead, I think it'd be much better for them to focus on the lawsuit in Nevada as it has been clear for the longest time that this company has been ran by a bunch of buffoons. I think they'd have a much better time winning on that case and just focusing their time, effort, and resources on that. Anyway, that's my opinion on the Vinko Ventures situation and lawsuits. I don't know how well I'll be able to follow the lawsuit in Nevada seeing as it's a state level case and those tend to be much harder to follow when you don't have a centralized database like Pacer. That alone makes federal based lawsuits much easier to follow and keep tabs on so I'll probably have to be nudged as far as the Nevada lawsuit as to what's going on with that as it's far harder to keep track of. Anyway, till next time, I'll catch you folks around.